Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, let's play Europa Universalis 4 as Sylvania with a Immortal Ruler. So, last time, um, we sort of snagged all this territory from everybody, and, uh, well, from everybody, there was like three nations there, but whatever. And most importantly, Ethiopia did a thing whereby they're now winning a war, which is not very good for us, but, uh, oh well. Uh, importantly, though, very importantly, we are making a lot of money. Um, which I just noticed, yes, as I started recording. Now, we can also reduce the autonomy of absolutely everything. Which I've sort of forgotten to do. And I've slightly overdone at this stage, but shush, we'll, we'll deal with it. Um, especially as overextension goes down. Yeah. Hmm. Also, let's start annexing a doll as well. This is the thing. Hmm. Yeah. You're a sultan, and it's a sultan that you're not very keen on there. Yeah. All right. So best we can do so far, from what I can see, is just annex all of this and go to war with Marawi. Actually, need to check how strong they are. Um, well, no. First of all, is this? They're at military tech four, so I am above and beyond them somewhat. But on the ledger. Armies by country name. Mm, where are we? 11. Okay. And I'm at 15,000. I'd like to add a few more soldiers to my army, if at all possible. Yes, it is. Let's add... what do we have? 10-5. Let's add one more cavalry and two more infantry. And that'll set us up nicely for any future expansions as well. And northwardsly direction. I was thinking about colonization, and uh, I think I'm going to do it for one simple reason. It, it's going to look nice to have all of this colonized. There is no pragmatic reason whatsoever other than it's kind of going to look nice. Because right now, the borders are sort of all over the place, right? Doesn't look that pretty. But it will. It will. Um... Wait, there is supply in these regions, too. Ah, uh, kinda. Ish. And we'll deal with it. Tell you what. Exercise the guy. I'll drill the army. And, uh... Go to speed 5, because we have nothing better to do for the time being. Move towards legalism. And indeed we shall. I can go up in admin tech. Instead, I'm going to go up in development tech, if that makes any sense. I'm going to go here and spend a little bit on that. 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 Perhaps a little bit more on that. A little bit on that. And that should raise our economic... Actually, that made way more of an impact than I thought it would. And I'm not going to hire an, uh, an admin advisor. Nor a diplomatic one, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Making six doc uh, ducats. <laughs> Making six ducats per turn, or per month. We're actually swimming in money. Alright. To the point of, I'm going to make a pair of barracks as to improve my manpower situation. Which is not ideal, and yes, I realise I should turn down the volume on my end. Now, as that's getting cored, we can start fabricating claims in this region. But we're going to fabricate a few more before I declare war, officially. 
primarily because I want to take care of these revolts that may or may not happen. Probably won't, actually. Um, what does this do? I think I'm just going to celebrate for one day. Because, uh... Take a look. We're already at 93 legalism. Doesn't get much better. Yes, it gets better. You get to 100. Doesn't matter that much, though. Not really. Bronze cannons. Are you kidding me? You get that at 7. Ooh. Yeah, um... That's gonna be interesting. Integration is a slow process indeed. Let's, uh... You have two cogs and a trade ship. Um, gather everything up. Disband that thing. And change the culture to... What? Why? Why do I want to do that? Yes, I know the reason why, but no. Don't do that. Um, take these two, send them over there. I will start protecting trade in a bit. Um, actually, I will build ships as well if I can. I should be able to. Yes, I'll build two of those. Start protecting trade somewhat more effectively. Um, oh, and lest I forget, not all, all the forts as well. And just do that really quickly, and we're ready. More or less. Um, hmm, that's actually very profitable now to build. Um, what are they called? I was gonna say cathedrals. They're not. They're mosques. Yes. <laughs> Somewhat offensive. I apologize, but it's. I'm going by inertia. Um. Can we get military tech at the time? Uh, I. No. No, we're not gonna do that. We're not. We have. Plenty of penalties with the institution thing already. Let's uh, let's not do that. Let's instead go over to development, sort out by the least expensive, and spend a few points here and there, and then go and do that. Also get more olive armies. So that puts us way behind military tech. Um, there's not many points we have to spend, but that's fine. That's sort of what we want. I think that's about enough. Yeah. Well, obviously, stop joining the army and let them get their morale back up before we do anything, but... Yeah, upon completion. That. Um, Seven is not important um, as far as numbers are concerned. <laughs> what I mean, but what I mean is seven is not that important in terms of anything really. As far as technology goes, so well, admin tech seven is not important. So we're going to spend again on, on development. I didn't realize how much that increases um, your treasury. And the answer is a lot. Quite a lot. Went from like a docket or two per tick to uh, eight. Mind you, that's with annexing our vassal and all that, but you know, in a, in a short period of time we became quite rich indeed. Hmm. <laughs> um. Actually, close to becoming one of the. Actually, close to the somewhat close to the Mamluks, believe it or not. Yeah, Ethiopia just blobbed like all hell. What are you doing, Mamluks? Seriously, you're supposed to, like, have at them, you know? So, oh, actually, 
actually ally myself with them because I'm I don't trust Ethiopia anymore. Um, and yes, two. Uh, one more month, I think. Yep, there we go. So, declare war. Um, we'll take the province of Lomwe. Yes. Go! Right, let's see what you have for me. Uh, look at story. Yep. Do we have plenty of money? Uh, the state needs money. That it does. That it oh so desperately does. You have any intention of fighting me? Doesn't look like it. Fine, I'll just siege out your capital. See how you feel about that. Okay. Uh, and I will go for colonization next, that's the reason I mentioned it at the start of the video. Uh, like the next idea group, which is unlocked at... 7. Do you, do you remember what I said about 7, like a couple of minutes? Scratch it. Just forget about it. Forget about it. Idea group 7, uh, or technology level 7, is, is actually very important. Um, for some reason I was convinced that you unlock it at 8 next idea group. But no, you get it at seven, so yes, it is actually important. You'd think you'd, it'd be worthwhile letting me know about this, you know, when they take the first one, well, not the... Oh, whatever. Fine, fine. Uh, why you would do such a thing is beyond me, but fine. A little bit of mysticism doesn't matter. I know you just fuck yourselves over. You have officially just fucked yourselves over. Alright, come here. Come here. And gone. Um. Hmm. Camera finding ability feels... That's... actually... terrific. Wow. That is, like, actually really, really good. Um... Problem is, now you've devastated all my provinces, you utter morons. Fine. Move towards legalism, I don't know what it does, but whatever it does, legalism is good. In our current predicament, I hasten to add... There we go. Allows for another idea group, and that idea group will be... Where is it? Um, I was gonna, I was thinking about economics, we're gonna go with with expansion. Give us a merchant and a bunch of things about settling. So yeah, expansion it is. Usually my standard go-to for most empires that I play, my standard go-to build is first military idea, quality or quantity, depending on my situation. A lot of times quality, and uh, after that. After that, uh, economics. I know what you're trying to do. You're not going to do it. You're going around. I know you. I know you're going around. You're not going to do it. Stop. Not the first time you attempted something like this. Get stack wiped. All right, we can now win the war. Actually, might be. Somewhat smart to split up the army, but ah, they can rebuild quite a lot, and they have practically they cheat, so they have almost infinite manpower. So you know what, seize the capital, and we'll be done with it, hopefully. 
So man, just so much manpower, it's insane. Where are you? Nine thousand manpower. Like hell you do after recruiting like fifteen different regiments, like hell you do. That's after recruiting all of them and reinforcing a practically dead army. Yeah, like hell you do. We're gonna go around again. It's annoying. Not much I can do about that. Guerrilla warfare and all that. Actually, guerrilla warfare, not guerrilla. Guerrilla warfare. I'm not racist now that I think about it, but... Actually, no, I'm their neighbour, it's not racist. My army's equally made up. Ooh, don't go there. Um, execute them for reason, yes. No, I didn't mean it like that, I meant it like... They're behaving like a bunch of gorillas. It's nothing to do with their... anything. Other than their behaviour. Um... Split... yeah. Split and... When did you... Am I just not getting... Told about this province, specifically. Does the game have something against that specific province that it would like to share with me, perhaps? No? No, I'm sorry, you're not getting away with this. I will take all that is... ...takeable. <laughs> Idiots. You should have continued going. You should have continued going, occupying everything along the way, because that will cause devastation on these provinces, and I would be unhappy. So I'd ask for a peace treaty. That's how you'd beat me. But instead, what you did is... Excuse me? Did I just misclick on retreat? Because if I did... Fine, that's my bad, but if I actually lost that battle... See how I'd be a little bit perturbed, to say the absolute least. Yeah, a few more provinces. You're not gonna siege it with... 1,000 cavalry, it's, it's not how sieges work. Nice. Conquer to Jura, where is it? You keep pitting me against Ethiopia, which is possibly genius because... They might accept. If the Mamluks accept, we're gonna win that war easily. Questioners, will they? Um, you know what? I'll do it. I will. I will do it. For the vine. No, seriously, I'll, I will do it. We'll see what happens. Don't care about your peace treaty. I'm occupying as much as physically possible from you. Gonna be a bit of a tough battle. See, it does it again. Why? I didn't click anything this time. Why? And now it didn't. I am. I'm gonna pretend I understand and move on because I really, really don't.
Yeah, because that makes sense. There's gonna be a battle there, there's gonna be a battle there until it, there isn't anymore. Alright. You know what? Enough of this shenanigans. Coalition. Will well, you be the only member of the coalition to sod off? Um. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Give me pretty much everything you have. And now we're going to sit here and deal with revolts, essentially. And I will start... I'll keep myself at legalism. 100. Uh, I was going to say uh, we can start slowly shifting towards mysticism a little bit to convert all these uh, provinces to our religion, but ah. We're going to need that when we go to Ethiopia and start taking land, but for now, not really. And yeah, there is apparently five billion different nations here. Who would have guessed? Luckily for... Unluckily for them, luckily for me... I have an ingenious idea in uh, how to pacify them all. Our national unrest is pretty damn high, though. And that is somewhat an issue. Alright, let's get manpower. Navies. Not because we need these things, not really, most because we need the points. Alright. Good, good. So. Technology, which technology? Ah, that one. Um, yes. Yes, and I would like... Four of those immediately, please. Thank you very much. Because cannons are absolute king in combat. Mm, yeah, we'll do that. How are we doing for money? Five per month. That's pretty good. Pretty good, all things considered. Let's exercise the army until we're, we're sure there's going to be a revolt. And, uh... Oh, there's the cannons. Look at them. Glorious, glorious cannonry. Alright. In there. In there, and I just realised the problem we're facing, but that doesn't matter because we can split the army into two slightly more efficient as well. I can't get another... Uh, you know what? I will. I will. It's a, One, it's a fairly decent general, and it does increase my professionalism by a little bit. Alright, they're at 80%. So, um, would you be any more willing to... Ah, no, we talked about this because you're a sultanate. Uh, how about you? You're uh... Military power and economic base again. You, you, you have delusions of grandeur, is what you have. <laughs> we take them off exercising? Oh, exercising drilling, yes, same thing at this point, really. I think we do. Just prepare for the, uh... Revolt, that's 15,000 men... where? No, we don't know where, okay. The province. Anything we want to be doing with our diplomats? Not really, right? You all despise me. You somehow managed to eat back all of this. What on earth is going on in this part of the world? I 
seriously would like to know. And let's just leave it at that. Uh, I need to find that screen. I need to find that diplomacy screen. There it is. Um... Here it is. So, influence action, off vassalization, no one. Okay. Royal marriage. Aden, Yemen. Those guys. Alliance. Not that many people. What about. Uh, leave here. What about the dead? I wouldn't accept vassalization. Why? Economic base. Is it that important, really? Am I that terrible at economy? Honest answer? Yes, because... You're really influential. I don't like that. Um, I, I'm, I'm really that terrible at economy, aren't I? Despite holding so many provinces. Alright. Well, slow and steady wins the race and all that good stuff. Um, let's beat five, I guess. The thing is, there isn't really anything I could be doing with my diplomats right now, is there? Not really. Uh, the Mumbles wouldn't join, why? Doesn't El Silvani at least 10 favours and fighting in another war? Who are you fighting? Ah, okay, fair enough. Okay, a declining power of... Ah. Declining power of the Emirs, they weren't at 45% a minute ago. Stop, 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 stop. Um, we'll do that. And then, yeah, we'll need to deal with this thing as well. As quickly as physically possible. Eh, it's relatively quick. Yeah. Somewhat annoying, but hey. Well, this prestige it doesn't matter at all at this stage. We have like 20 different modifier, negative modifiers for. Um. Oh, before I forget. For uh, for technology, we really don't need another one. Um, I think it's time we. Yeah, it is. It's time we get our first colonist and start working. So, we need... Uh, where is it? We need a... Development map mode. Is there not a way I can, like, put it... No? Like, put it somewhere there and... No, okay. And then I click the wrong thing. Development map mode. What is the most developed province near me that hasn't been colonized? There isn't such a province, is there? Well, there are a few down here. With four development. And most of these ones are just 1-1 one, one provinces. Uh, let's go down south then. Before we can send uh, an introduce native policy, yes we do. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I think native trading, as fun as repression is, Let's go native trading. And send our first dude out. Um, oh. I'm converting all these things too.
There we go, we've cored practically everything that can be cored. And we have another revolt to deal with. But that is fine. We shall deal with a golden era for the Ottomans. I forgot about the entire ages thing. Millionaire's arrival, president of two continents, people's society. None of these things, I mean, not really. Not that I can influence them that much, at least. But the Ottomans starting up a golden era at this stage of the game is... Ooh, that is gonna make them high and mighty indeed. But they didn't have a, a start that was slightly slower than you might expect usually, so... Fair enough, I suppose. Um, or I forget we had to build. We could have built those some time ago, but it matter. Okay. Obviously, colonizing all this stuff takes money away from us as well, but we don't seem to be doing too terribly on that front at this stage. Uh, revolts. None. Um, I could exercise the arm. Ah, I will. I was like, maybe it's better to reduce our maintenance down to zero and not exercise them, but it really isn't. And again, Imperina is imploding. Fine. Fine. Uh, yeah, I'll do that for the uh, professionalism. That. Uh, if I scholar, please please tell me it's not the merchant. One. I don't need another merchant, I really don't. What I do have though is ten trade ships, and I forgot about those. So let's uh take you. Click this and have you protect trade in Zanzibar, right? Or the Gulf of Aden. I already have a thing in the Gulf of Aden. 71 trade power. And this fleet will add 11.54 trade power to Zanzibar. This will increase our trade value from one seven five two two and strip out of the Gulf of Aden from one nineteen to two thirty six. It's the same thing, really, isn't it? Let's do it, and actually, let's. Uh, I think ultimately this is going to be worth it, because what we can do is that, and then from the Gulf of Aden, which is... I can collect trade, right? Yeah. Let's see how that goes. Huh? Eh? Maybe? No? Am I actually losing money as a result of all of this? Probably. TFP has announced me as their new rival. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. No, really. And now what's going on? Look at their development really quickly. <laughs> would it count as distant overseas territory? It probably would, wouldn't it? it uh, by the way, it's so devastated at this point, it's not looking worth it. Maybe at one point later we will hop over the uh, 
to the ocean and bring some rule, law, and order in there. In that island, but uh, for now, leave it be. I think I'm actually losing money as a result of all this. Eh. Alright. Purification of tax laws. That's not very good. Why would you want to purge and purify the tax laws? We like taxes. Ooh, uh, yeah. Reduce the, uh, inflation. It got up there, and... So what do you do? Pref uh, production efficiency plus 10. It's not very good for us at this stage, I'm afraid. One of our advisors has died, though. Um, sure, let's invest more into trade that we'll never use, but hey. Royal family of Mombasa will learn, the prize of the, learn of the pleasantries exchanged. Mombasa and Sylvania. That's 50. Wouldn't by any chance happen to, you know, want to accept my vassalization now that that's been done, no? Bastards. And anyway, uh, yeah, we'll take the uh, my maintenance modifier too, or the reduction thereof. Okay, what do we have left? Uh, independence for Lundu, wherever the hell that is. Um. Province of Lundu makes quite a lot of sense, honestly. It's right in front of me, and I fail to notice it. I just gonna exercise there instead. A bit of a show of, a show of force and all that good stuff. Uh, what can we do here? We can. Mission is strength or tolerance of the truth. They. I need the missionary strength, honestly. So I'll do that. No, it's not for long. I don't need it for that long. Move towards mysticism. Move towards legalism. Mysticism. It was legalism. Uh, our thing with the Marmalix just ended, so... Back. Is it me or is Ethiopia growing exponentially larger and larger by the minute? How many troops do they have? Uh, rivals. Ethiopia. Really? Just 15? Force limit 26? No cannons? Interesting. You have a lot of allies, though. That is the uh, that is the problem. You have vassals and allies. That's all fine, so long as the Mamluks help me. None of that will matter. So to that end, you know, hold on. Now we have a. You still won't, would you? You still won't. Um. How do I get favours with you and help them in wars? Yes, I know, but... Uh, don't seem to want to invite me into one. And I will help them legitimately, I'll even send troops. Send my navy too, maybe. Legitimately would help them, but... Uh, not really up to me, is it? Native uprising, what? Okay, now you've done it. Now you've done it. Um, new plan. New plan, here we go. So, we'll leave the cannons. You can take two of those. Two of those. 
two more of those. That look good. Yes. Six. And we're gonna call you the uh best extermination squad. Or just best best extermination. Uh, and you're gonna be the first proper army. And you're gonna go and drill right there, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna babysit the colonies. Yes, you are. And that's what you're gonna do. Um, and we'll give you a military leader as well. You're just gonna sit there all merrily babysitting the colonies. Really? We can get technology? Uh, I don't want to do that at all, actually. At least not yet. Um, no, instead, do the old song and dance again with the uh, development. So, cost, and here we go. 65... There you go. So all my admin points gone. But oh, there's a bunch of money too. Uh, move towards legalism. Yes. Yeah. How many times have I repeated that? It's probably. We're, we're, I mean, we're, we're at double digits, right? No question about it. We're at double digits. But that's essentially what the game has become at this point. It's not my fault. It's just the way it is. I'm just reading the prompts on the screen. Not really my fault, to, to an extent. I think what, is, is what we need to take away from this, and that is we are developing economically a lot. Like, quite a lot, right? And that's good. That's very good. We can support our armies. It's, it's all fine and dandy. There are limits to how long we can do this, though, and Ethiopia doesn't seem to be getting any weaker in its own right, so... Right, go. How are they doing technologically? On par with me. See, we need the Mamluks for this. And soon. There's also another problem, is that if I'm babysitting the colonies over here, I can't bring my full force to bear, as it were, on the, uh, the dudes, so, meh. Can't do that. I didn't, even, I didn't even say it this time, I was sort of getting a little bit embarrassing between me and you. I need yearly inflation reduction, don't I? I kind of do. I'm getting yearly... It's increasing yearly, basically, is what I'm getting at. Uh... Yeah. You know what? I think it's time to say sod the colonists. Not really. Sod them. We're going to Ethiopia. I can't afford to babysit you while we're going to be at war with someone, right? And Lundu can rebel all they want. Not gonna help them. Uh, okay, military tech. It's good. Go. So, uh, we're going to drill the army here, for the time being, until we can somehow, some way, get the Mamluks in on this. You'd be willing to... Huh. Yes, here, have military access from me. 
Knowledge access to you. Yeah, of course I can. Yes, yes, yes. So it wouldn't want to help me, eh? You will. You will. Every time. Here's a question. Uh, same thing. Can I go with the poke at something like Yemen instead? Can, but I don't really want to attack her. Yeah, I don't really want to attack them. Um, and we finished one mission. Hmm, fair enough. Allow state edicts. Not very useful. Aggressive expression impact. That's good. Transfer subjects. Pretty good. Improved war taxes. Cost. Nothing. Cavalry armies. Eh. Plus one tax production and manpower when colony is finished. Yup. I'll take that, but it goes away with the Age of Reformation. And the Age of Reformation is not that far away. Ah, hell, there'll be something there, right? Administrative problems. Game corruption, ugh. Let's uh, root it out. Alright. Guilds, uh. Did I call that? No. What? Ask a contribution from you. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll do that. Ah, give me trade efficiency. You know what? Stay. Stay for now. They've risen and attacked our peaceful settlement. Why am I not surprised? Why is nobody shocked by this outcome? No damage to our yay! Merchant shipwrecked. Quite unfortunate. Send them there. Slowly we shall colonize the world. Mwahahaha. Oh, I can promote this culture, by the way, I can do. Probably would have saved me a little bit of money. Uh, maybe even, maybe not, who knows. Maybe, uh, a little bit. Okay, are you any interested in helping me attack them now, Mr. Mamluks? No? Well, we'll see what we're going to do about Ethiopia next time. Maybe I'll just go in alone. Perhaps, who knows. At any rate, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Please remember to like, subscribe, and if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, have fun, take care, and bye bye.